Hi and welcome to another tutorial for the CG Brothers. In this tutorial we're going to create a moon and a stars and nebula background in Maya. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing I just wanted to, to point out is I went to a couple of websites uh, to get the uh, textures for this tutorial and they're all free. Um, there's one that's uh, www.oera.net and they have very very high res uh, images of the uh, Earth as well as the Moon and Venus and Mars. Um, really really good site. And then also uh, the background was taken from a wallpaper by uh, this particular artist here and he's done four wallpapers and this particular one I liked because of the blue and that was what I was looking for for this tutorial. So you can go there and download those and, and follow me along uh, you know, at your leisure on YouTube. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you what I did. Alright, first off let's go ahead and create Polygon Primitive Sphere. We'll go ahead and put that on there and we'll go ahead and create a Polygon Plane, Primitive Plane. Drag that along there, open that up and zoom out just a little bit and let's go ahead and add shade into the viewport smooth shade all and then another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, Maya's 2012 uh, it's rendering uh, viewport 2.0 so I can uh, look at things and, and see how they're basically kind of going to look and if I, when I software render them at the end in hardware so let's go ahead and pick the plane and I'm going to go ahead and put in all the presets that I did for this file um, which I did offline and so you guys can look at it and uh, see it pretty quickly so I'll go ahead and enter all those information for you and then you can follow along okay so the, the uh, plane for the star background I'm going to go ahead and translate that into 254 and Y I'm going to translate into 24 Z is going to be negative 660 Take a look at that way out there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and rotate that in X 90 degrees. Okay, and let's go ahead and go to the input underneath the uh, the channel box layers. There's an input here called polyplane, and we're going to make this pretty large. We're going to make it 2500 by 1600. And that's that's gigantic compared to our sphere. You see that? So now let's go ahead and create that, uh, select that sphere and do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and do the polysphere. We're going to make that a res, uh, basically a radius of 120. And then we're going to subdivide it in the axis to 80 and the height 80. The reason I'm doing that is I just want it, when I render it, I want it to be pretty smooth um, and not too faceted. All right, let's go ahead and put that in the, the uh, location for this as well. So let's go ahead and put a negative 54 for X, translate a negative 56 for Y, Z is negative 5. And let's go ahead and enter rotation for X 82, Y 66, and Z of negative 104. Okay, so it's kind of tilted a little bit there so you can see that okay let's go ahead and make sure everything's in the right spot and double check my numbers and make sure it's all in the right spot here so negative 660 24 okay so now what we want to do is we want to apply the textures from the websites that I downloaded first one we'll do is a sphere which will be the moon we're going to assign a generic uh, blend texture to that right click select blend then the tab for the attribute under color let's pick that file and we'll navigate to it here that's on my C drive tutorials and that's under planet textures and that will be moon map so there's the moon and then we'll go ahead and add the bump map for that. 
for the bump map channel, which is right here, because we want a little bit of a, a surface bump. And we're going to use the moon map bump. Okay, as you can see in real time, you can see it basically bumping the heck out of it, and it looks pretty, pretty harsh. And if we render that, it'll actually look exactly the same as this real time rendering and using the viewport 2.0. So let's go ahead and dial that down to 0 0.03. And that looks better. If I zoom in, you can kind of see you can kind of a little bit of a bump. You can adjust that as you want, but for this particular rendering, go ahead and leave it at that. All right, so now go, let's go ahead and assign the texture for the background, which will be the nebula and the stars. Right click and assign a new material for that. We'll use blend as well. And for its color, Go ahead and navigate to the actual nebula here for that wallpaper. Throw that in there, and there it is. Okay, what we want to also do, so if I render this, I'll show what it looks like. And right now, uh, my particular, uh, I'm using a laptop to, to do this tutorial, so it's pretty slow. So you guys will hopefully have a faster machine. All right, so that was that. And let's go ahead and for the uh, incandescence channel, because we want this to be self-illuminating. We want this to be look exactly like um, this particular render here.